and then you have this, right? Is that kind of the problem? This happens with glass too, I think. But, uh, yeah. So, we'll use water as an example. So say you brought in scenery or you've done exactly this and brought in a block. And for whatever reason, the dang old stuff like disappears beyond the surface. You don't want that, obviously. You want to be able to see it down in the water. So you come over here to the stationary water properties. So it depends. You can either put it on this one or probably on the characters, but you may not want to do it for every character. So if we go to the render depth here, we should be able to, in theory, before I do it, reduce this one so that the render depth of objects in it will be higher, meaning that they will show through. Probably not the best scientific explanation, but if I bring this down... Then you see that nothing happened, so I was wrong. I bring it up. There we go. There we go. We, so it starts out on zero. And uh, even though I zeroed it back out, it kind of like, you know, acts like it wants to work now. But I would recommend just bumping it up. It doesn't really matter as long as it's above like one or so. And now, there you go. That's the render depth thing. You can actually see his dang old legs down in there just like, Indy is taking... I swim in the pool, man. Torturing the Enderman. How's it going, Cool Roby Gamer? White Wolf. Evan plays. Oh yeah, this is torture for an Enderman. I did that by accident. I wasn't even thinking about the fact that <laughs> they don't like it. <laughs> That's funny. But it's to do with glass in my scenery. Yeah, you would do the same thing uh, as you would for what I just did here. I don't know if the scenery that we have here is going to cause a problem. I'll drag them in here and see. Nope, we can see them. Let me see if I can make the problem happen, though. So if you had this where you had glass like that, it would be the same thing as the water. Where, let me select the scenery here. Doesn't seem to be working for this. Maybe the uh, canned sceneries are different. Yeah, you would do the same thing. You would just select your scenery, as I am doing here. You just select the whole piece and just adjust the render depth in the scenery's properties. And that should fix it. Oh yeah, someone, uh, I think they were talking about the render depth glitch, but uh, we were going to talk about the alpha glitch a bit. So uh, let me see if I can figure that out one second. I'm going to go ahead and try it with this Enderman, because this actually is a problem that I've seen some people have when you're animating, like, for instance, the Enderman here. And you want to do the teleportation thing, or maybe, for whatever reason, you just want him to be somewhat in transparent or whatever. And the alpha glitch, um, as far as I understand, I think it still is a thing in community build. We'll see. Looks like maybe it's working. Hang on. See what this does for us. So that's one thing. Sometimes you'll have it go like that. Other times, like this is the alpha glitch right there. You see that? How it cuts through whatever you're looking through? Like we can see that for whatever reason, but it cuts through this water and you just see the ground. And that has to do with the render depth as well. And, um,. Nimi was pretty smart and made the little like mouth rig and I think Skibs added on to it somewhat where you do like eyes and mouth and uh, they've used that to make cool facial rigs that are easy to animate. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on when it comes to the alpha glitch is the render depth. So you can see there with it on zero, when you make the Enderman transparent, then he kind of blocks out stuff that you wouldn't want him to otherwise. So realistically, if he was going to be transparent, he would look more like that, where you see the water behind him. But for some reason, this glitch happens. So you have to remember to up the render depth so that you get, you know, the results you want when you're doing transparency on objects or characters or whatever it may be. You got to be mindful of the render depth setting and feature and stuff. So you may notice there when I bring it up, it uh, screws up the water thing. It fixes that problem, but it screws up the water thing. So maybe that we need to bring the water up more or something. Or maybe these don't interact very well. That would be interesting. That is weird. Look at that. It's like his legs are messed up. 
Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> I see what I'm doing wrong now. Okay, it's because I didn't select the whole Enderman. Whoops, hang on. Select everything. Zero that out. Right? Is that how you do it? Okay. Let's try to do that. And... Like that. So I don't know, it seems like maybe you would have to choose between whether or not it shows up under the water or works properly for transparency. That would be bogus. Let's try making a negative one. And then if we go do this, then it does like that. And you don't want that either, man. So we can do that, bring it up to two, so it is one point higher on the render depth than the water. So that when we have them fully transparent or fully visible. Let's see, I had to bring it back down. So yeah, I guess you kind of have to choose, that's really weird. Sorry I'm not paying attention to chat, I'm trying to figure this out, man, that's a weird glitch. I didn't notice that they kind of interact that way. So you can you have to choose whether you want them to see his feetsies or not screw up on transparency. So that's something to keep in mind. So the water layer needs to be higher. Let's just bump that up to five than whatever this is. So if I bring this up and make it five or six, then it goes back into the glitch. Bring it down to four then it works. So that's how you want it. You want the render depth of the character lower than whatever scenery is blocking them out. But if you try to make him transparent, he's going to have the alpha glitch. So then it needs to be on par or above the scenery in order to not create the alpha glitch. So that kind of is a dilemma. Okay, so we figured that out. That's cool. I don't know if anyone can uh, chime in on that, if there's a solution for that or not, but that's an interesting little find there. Pretty cool, pretty cool.